And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Tarek. Those are two champions that I really enjoy playing. So I'm looking forward to this uh, latest viewer submitted donation deck. And it looks pretty good. We're going to be um, playing these champions, of course, with Golden Ages, right? Because Tarek plus Golden Ages is a nice little combo that can allow you to rally multiple times. Um, and of course, attacking multiple times with something like a Jarvan could be really cool. We got a couple King Jarvins up here at the top end as well. Um, so we, I don't think there's any way to... Yeah, there's not really any ways to give uh, Jarvin Challenger itself. Besides whenever it you know, comes in challenging an enemy. As, I was looking at that for, as far as this goes. But of course, you know, we can create Cataclysms with the Jarvin. Um, no one drops, but lots of good twos. So like two mana is going to be pretty key. We got Shield Bearer, we got Goat, we got a couple of Researchers as well. And then we got all of these awesome two mana spells. Pill Cascade, Sharp Sight, both of those are great with Tarek. We got some single combats as well. Um, some Sunforgers give us some Lifesteal, another beefy unit. Screeching Dragon is going to be amazing as always. And that's that's basically the rest of the deck. We got a couple more. Or we got another Challenger with Protege, another Fight Spell, Concerned Strike. And there we go. So let's get to it. Let's play some Jarvan Tarek. All right, we're going deep. I think we should be good against deep. Usually, like, these kind of decks are, and especially attacking multiple times is good against deep. Let's keep this curve. Two, three, four. Then we got, and we got Golden Ages for turn five. Hello. Nice opponent. It's a 2-1. Matches up perfectly against Mountain Goat now. Now it's that buff 2-1. Get bloody, get paid. This is the second person that I've played against with Deep that's had hired gun. I did not want to see that card. Guess I need to waste a Golden Ages. That was the one card I didn't want to see. If I go Golden Ages, they can still have Vile Feast. This is not good. Yeah, not good. The perfect start. Take the pass. So you know that's their third jettison. Man, their hand looks good. Living the life. Living the life. I 
left. They got one mana left. They play two Lure of the Depths. So they can still play any sea monsters that cost six or less. Can't quite level this up. Never submit. Unyielding. I am the protector of the mountain. Not my first gunfight. What a hand. Feeding time. What a hand. All right, this will be interesting. Shen versus Tarek. You know, same kind of deck, both Jarvan. This is gonna be pretty in interesting. All right, we're going to keep the two mana spells. They'll be very useful. You're good. Have a good night. So Hush can stop Barrier. That can be good. And I want the extra mana. Alright, so they wasted a couple mana there. I want the spell mana. We swim within the flows of magic. Engulf them. Now we'll make that attack. So I don't have like a great Taric target. Right, like next turn, like what do I play Taric and then play So I can kind of force Repost out of their hand. So do I trade single combat and hush for Repost and River Shaper? Well, I think I've gotta be patient. I probably should have just played the Taric last turn. I, I I probably didn't need to keep up both of these. I think just keeping up hush would have been acceptable. Hush or sharp sight, so I should have just played Taric last turn instead of the goat. Water changes but never breaks. What form will the waters take? Ah. Alright, so because of that they got an extra card than I do. Two worlds, one balance. I bring clarity. So I go. No further. I should maybe be putting my 2-4 protege in front of that river shaper. Okay. Good. That's what I was hoping to happen.
Just drew uh, Pell Cascade. That's all right. I will fight for Demacia till the day I die. With me. Um, the last game with the Zeranasis, we lost. Don't remember what did we lose to. It's something where like our opponent had a really good hand, and like it's not, it's not like our our deck did just fine still. Oh, it was against a frostbite deck. It was against Ash, LeBlanc frostbite stuff. Wow. Okay. So I led with okay. So I led with the single combat there, and I know concerted strike would have been better for me, but just in case of, you know, like uh, things that like you know deny, like that kind of stuff, or just like other interaction from them, I wanted to lead with the single combat, see what they did. Because if even if we just traded there, even though I just traded three for two, it wasn't the worst trade ever. I could play King Jarvan, draw another Jarvan, and so on. So like basically lead with that and save my concerted strike, which would have been the better card. Okay, we got Noxus PNZ. Got some aggro. We don't see very much aggro these days, but this is definitely an aggro deck. I like these three cards, and I like these four cards. Shield Bear is a good blocker against Draven and Jinx and that kind of stuff. I guess I gotta lead with this. Scorching light. <laughs> hey, what's up, Chandler? Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty big. Yeah, that's a pretty big get excited right there. Alright, so let's just go ahead and use a single combat. I mean. It's maybe not even like the best use of it. Because. If I single combat right now, then my shield bear, my next shield bear would only be a 3 2. I could just double single combat. That doesn't seem worth it. Alright. Let it happen. Final answer. So do I want to take 8 damage? Kind of want to just take 8 damage. I don't know, only three cards left? Yeah. Each light Basically, I felt like that just having the two mana after this um, Taric was really important. Multiple Golden Ages. I really don't want to use my second single combat. I really need my second single combat for this Unforger. But obviously I have two, otherwise I'm dead. Alright, 
All right, Sunforger. Just one mana short from Sunforger and then Golden Ages, which would be really the best possible scenario. I can't survive and not play Sunforger, right? No, I think I gotta play Sunforger. Shining gifts from the sky. The answer's here somewhere. Immerse yourself in the <laughs> Another vision? Come on. Okay, that's just over. All right, good game. Kindred Nassos. You want to come up here, puppy? Oh, you want to come up here. Okay, you gonna help me out? Let's say hello to our nice opponent. So what do we have? Callista Nasus. I think I said Kindred a little bit ago, but I meant Callista. I mean, I think we just keep it all. We can run into too many two, two mana cards. You know, drawing another one. They're good cards, but they can be overpowered. I like it. I like finding a champion. I like it. Yeah, we got the lucky pup. Lucky puppers. They forgot. You, you cannot. Card is nice. You, yes, Alright, so our two drop trade, they get an 0 1 in play, and I get a gem in hand. Alright, great Tarek draw. For next turn, Tarek plus Pale Cascade. Beauty and life. The Emperor commands, the land obey. Does give them good blockers. But I still think I'm supposed to do this. Allows them to level up Callista. Never submit. But it's just drawing two cards and getting like halfway to a, a Taric level up. Keep your distance. Wasn't gonna be that difficult to level up Callista anyway. We need some challengers. We need Screeching Dragon. Can you give us Screeching Dragon Puppy? Or a Fight Spell? Guys, our stuff's not big enough really for a Fight Spell. Yeah, Jarvan, I mean, Jarvan has to be in play to level up, just like any champion, right? Like, they, once you play the champion, if, if it, you have the 4 out of 4, Jarvan will level up. Okay, well, that's a challenger. That could work with Sharp Sight. Yeah, like, these three ones are just awesome. about that. I don't want... Uh, I didn't want Jarvan to come into play here because I wanted to play Golden Ages. I guess I need to play the gem first to make it 5 mana so that then Jarvan would not come into play. Alright, Rainbow Poro. After this game, y'all help remind me to change it to Rainbow Poro. We only got one more game today. 
tonight after this one. We got spirit fired. You face a prince. I guess I do this Cataclysm on here. The level up Taric. But if I if I choose the Taric, like it won't it won't Taric won't support anything, so it won't do the can't take damage or die thing. That's okay. Right negation pretty good. I don't know how big this Nasus is going to be. This is tough. Sunforger or a Screeching Dragon. If they play Nasus, I guess I may need just need the Sunforger. There is nowhere left to go but up. I could heal for more if I copy it on over to the Sunforger. So many of those. The more we learn, the less we fear. Cadra Grin. That's your favorite dragon, right, puppy? What's up, Jarvan? It's basically about like Nasus and Atrocity, if they have that or not. Betrayal bears, Shurima. Hope revived it. Well, there's Nasus. Alright, so only 8-8. Eight, eight. So not I'm dead. Demacians, fight for your king! I'm just gonna hard cast this with the barrier. Makes it where they can't attack. And then I also like create the uh Cataclysm next turn. Awesome. So there we go, two and two. That was a good Terra game right there. Like, that Callista was scary. And Zoe Aurelian Soul. So we got a Demacia Targon, a Mirror. But they got all the Celestial type stuff. This could be tough. Alright, I'm eliminating the Egghead Researcher. Basically looking for spells. I'm going to have the first two turns just be spell mana. Then we got this pretty decent 3-4-5. And there we go. Now we got some spells to go along with them. Break their spirits and their swords. I'll just pass. I know I, I gave up dealing two points of damage, but it's only two points of damage. They can heal that and everything, but I don't know what they were going to do post-combat, but I like them wasting that mana. I'm ready to shine. We wear red to honor the fallen. To honor the fallen. So eight mana next turn. Oh, yeah. Two, four, eight. Fly. 
playing that to turn on Nightfall. Let's attack again. There we go. Because we're going to attack another two times. If they didn't grab Equinox right there for my challenger. Because, right, because so we we Golden Ages on the Taric. So that means Rally. And then we attack. And it copies the Golden Ages on over to our challenger with the barrier. So they wouldn't gain three life with the lifesteal. And therefore, we're going to attack again. And so that'll do. Taric is awesome. So we saw those last two games. Tarek just dominated those last two games, helping us get to that 3-2. And Tarek with Golden Age is definitely really good. But we saw just, like, the power of, like, having spell mana, right? Like, you, that's kind of the ideal... Basically, like, that last game that we played was kind of the ideal game of, like... Like, load up on spell mana, have your three-mana challenger to go along with Tarek, have your spells to be able to cast with Tarek afterwards. And so, like, that's why, like, some of these cards, like, you know, Researcher, Goat, Shield Bear, they're not really what you want early. You really want, like, your spells... Especially Pale Cascade Sharp Psych, you know, single combat doesn't really work with Taric. But of course you do play against a good amount of aggro decks, so you need, you know, you need these bodies against aggro one, and then two, you're not always gonna have protege on three, right? So like you're gonna need other cards to support with Taric as well. So like, you know, having these things to also support um, is beneficial too. So you like you need you need other bodies to go along with Taric. You can't just like play nothing and then Taric. But yeah, this what this uh, deck worked out well. You know, three and two in Master's rank. We will take that. Tarek was good. We only played Jarvan a couple of times, but I think each time that we had a, a Jarvan come into play, I think we won those games. I think I, I could be wrong about that. I don't. I don't have that good of a memory. But yeah, almost a four-one. Yeah, we were we were right in there. All right. So that's Jarvan Tarek. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, you know, let me know what you think of this version of Jarvan. This is our first time playing Jarvan with Tarek. I think it went well. I mean, both of our losses, I do kind of remember like how our opponents really had like very, very good hands for both of our losses. Um, you know, like it, it wasn't like we were... It, it, our deck looked good in all the games, basically. That's what I'm saying. Like, our deck always kind of looked good. Just some, sometimes, you know, your opponent just has really, really good hands, and they, they defeat you. Like, that happens. All right, but anyway, uh, that's going to be it here for Jarvan Tarek. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.